What we've seen this week is we've received the Ukrainians at a centralised location where our NCOs meet them. We then issue them all the equipment that they'll need to conduct the five week training course here. We then take them to our camp where we then start the initial uh, induction phase and start teaching them the basic soldier skills they'll need to do their first field exercise, which is where we are now. For the intro exercise, I've been teaching them stuff like how to pack their pack, set up their hoochies, and how to occupy their first platoon position out in the field environment. We then, once we've set the foundations, move on to some more complex skills and start teaching them how to do section attacks, how to do fire and movement, and the other basic infantry skills. The thing that surprised me the most about this first intro exercise and working with the Ukrainians has been how quickly they're learning and how much morale they seem to have. Even when the weather's been really terrible, they're still out doing the training, they're still smiling and laughing, and still being just good people. So the next day or so, now that we're starting to move towards the end of what they need to learn, we'll start moving into things like doing flanking section attacks and potentially moving on to platoon patrols and maybe a platoon attack. We're also giving time for the Ukrainian section commanders to take them aside and show them some skills that they've learned on the front and also tell them some of their experiences so they know what they're likely to expect when they're out there fighting. Uh, some of the challenges that the whole platoon will be facing right now is um, the weather at the minute, um, well, especially for Australians, but the Ukrainians are a lot more used to this type of weather, so for them it's kind of second nature, which is good for them. Um, but for us it's a little bit challenging out here trying to gather our wits in this freezing cold environment. So today we're out here training the uh, recruits in um, just basic survival skills out in the field environment. Uh, what this means for them is they will learn how to conduct a section attack, how to use field signals, how to patrol in formations as a team, and how to conduct a basic harbour routine. The purpose for learning these types of skills is so that the recruits can go back to their country and use the skills that we have given them in full development and full, the full extent of their knowledge and go back and hopefully improve the soldiers' skills over in the Ukraine.